Sure, this sure. conference okay, will no now be recorded. Okay, so uh, today will be the material master configurations. So metal master configurations, right? What is metal master? Metal master means it can be anything we are going to use in our the business processes. Okay. What is? It can be anything we are going to use in our business processes that is called material suppose the manufacturing companies they need to uh, produce something okay for the productions they need to they need some raw materials or semi finished products they can purchase from the vendors right okay so that is called materials for the retail industries they can uh, they can purchase some goods and they can store it out they can sell it out right the different type of organizations based on the businesses and they have to purchase some material and those particular goods called material itself it can be anything if it is a simple like a needle also it can be a pin also it can be a huge crane bus whatever it may be for the business purposes they are purchasing that is called a material okay okay so there is some uh, there is some basic configurations required uh, if you want to understand you if you want to create a material so the standard material types are available you can use those standard material types to create a metal 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 master but uh, we have to understand what are the configurations required what are the configurations are available into the metal types okay and uh, along with the metal types what are the configurations required to create a metal masters okay those things we will get it out first of all material type okay then material number ranges as we discussed what is number ranges at the time of vendor master data for the same itself we have to set a mid number ranges for metal metal master number ranges okay then material group then industry sector Okay, these all configurations we can do it out, but standard also available. We can follow for the we can follow the standard also, right? But we should know how to create it out. Okay, so metal type, metal number ranges, metal group, industry sector. These all things are required. So what is metal type? What is number ranges? What is metal group? And what is industry sector? I will tell you accordingly. Metal type means it's a type of material. What type of material you are going to create it out? It may be like a, a raw material, finished product, semi finished product, like a, a waste. Okay, then uh, HGLB, raw finish, uh, spare ERSA, spare parts. So many types of metal types are there, and carbon container like pipeline, pipe. So many metal types are there just I have I can able to remember this much only okay but we can get those standard metal types into the system as well so let me log in the okay. system enter the user enter the password okay let me go to decode SPRO SAP reference IMG then uh, logistics general metal master basic settings metal types okay this is the path to get the configurations of the metal types if you want to get the all of the configuration path t code suppose you want to access this particular configuration with t code how to get the t codes select additional information additional information display key document you have to select this display key document you will get a column over here right look this automatically it has been populated about this whatever okay. it may be the last four digit right that the last four digit of the of this particular line that is a transaction code okay, okay. last four digit alphanumeric key hmm? okay so double click, click on this define attributes of material type look this the standard metals as metal types are available suppose whenever at the time of interview if you will get any questions about the metal type they will ask you what is the raw uh, like a raw metal type then your answer will be roh what is the finished product metal type ferp but what, what, uh, what is the uh, like spare parts ersa 
what is the waste waste material type abf so many metal types we have okay then just you can have to remember at least 10 to 15 metal types so that it will be easy like uh, helpful for you right hmm? if you want to create a material type then you can check the standard metal type configuration as well select this metal type click on details okay so many metal types like uh, metal types uh, configurations are there like this is the metal type uh, name this is the description this is the field reference so what is field reference i'll tell you as already we are uh, change some field screen layout into the vendor master right which field should be mandatory which field should be optional okay based on this field reference we can control those yes. things okay screen reference material type as we create a vendor master data after pressing enter it is jumping one pages to an another pages one screen to another screen right after filling some data required yes. information data into the specific pages after that we are just pressing enter right and it is jumping to the another screen with the help of this screen reference of material type okay external number range without assignment external number assignment without check means suppose we can set a number ranges as i told you we have a number range functionality which is one which is called one internal number ranges and another one is called external number range okay we can set a internal number range for this material type we can set a external number range for this material type if you want to proceed without setting any external number range for this material type and system should allow to create a external number range functionality then you have to check this option means system won't check any external number range assignment is there for this material type or not got my point or not yes yes got my point right very good and explant status explant status means cross plant status if you want to block the material okay item category group it is belongs to sd point of view which is like item category group they are using okay but material master is a master data we can use for like from pp module also they can use it from sd also they can use it from mm also we can use it out okay cross plant if you want to some like a default value if you want to set as a default value like whatever it may be the values are there into this possible entries okay look this this is a cross matter if you want to block a material to block a material to activate a material okay then you can set some default value whenever you are going to create a material under this material type then automatically into the metal master this value will get updated i'll show you don't worry i'll show you okay whatever it may okay. be the item category group also system will show you yes this item category will auto populate into the metal master whenever you are going to create it out okay let me make it as a plank right now special metal types special metal types means as we know that we have a process into the sap mm called pipeline process we have a standard pipeline metal type also go back select pipe click on position pipe okay this is the standard material type look this pipeline is mandatory it means what under the special metal types if we selected pipeline pipeline mandatory whatever your materials you are going to create under this material type those materials are only applicable for this pipeline process only okay for this pipeline process only and those materials are no system system is not going to allow to use on different processes like normal procurement process subcontracting process consignment process system won't allow to use those materials if pipeline mandatory or metal f process or configurable or whatever it may be it's selected okay that is called special material okay. types got my point sandeep okay yes yes go back let me go to decode ah, let me go r not ah, material type is called roh select this line item click on details hmm. user department user department means what so many views it is selected right now what are, what type of suppose whenever let me show you let me go for the t code mm01 i'm not going to tell you right now how to create a material but i'm going to tell you about this user department let me go to t code mm01 roh right i have to enter the industry sector material type click on select views 
so what are the select views are available what are the select views are available look this basic, basic information one, coming two, from sales on, suppose for an example for an example i'm just telling ki uh, this work scheduling is not required this work scheduling views for an example user is telling to you ki boss whenever we are going to create a material this particular view is not required then how you are going to control this go to the configuration where is work scheduling you can check it out you can find it out there will be there something look this work scheduling is there just uncheck this line item and save it out okay so this will be for that particular material it will be not ah, uh, asked right not, for that is a for specific material, material type. type yes, yes type. for specific okay. material type so go back let me refresh the transaction code slash n mm01 okay select views just i have selected raw material right and i have selected raw material let's check where it is work scheduling work scheduling is available no work scheduling is not available look this okay this is the way you can control control what are the views are required to create a material master okay let me i'm not going to change the standard configurations let me revert back okay okay internal purchase okay. order and external purchase order external purchase order means what what type of purchase order we are going to place into the vendor means like uh, what type of goods we are going to purchase in uh, from the vendors those are called external purchase orders okay if you want to allow let me show you the config like uh, options the options are available okay hmm. no external purchase order allowed external purchase order allowed but warning issued okay so normally what happen uh, whenever we are going to suppose you got a requirement for this material type whatever it may be the external purchase order is allowed means you can you can make the option as a you can set a option as a two okay if it is uh, system is like a if you want to uh, like a whenever the users are going to use a material and at that time whenever we are going to create a purchase order system will throw a warning message system will allow to create a purchase order along with that system will throw an warning message okay okay so no external okay. purchase order allowed means suppose we created this material type for a waste material type waste product okay and for that you can set as a zero zero means no external purchase order allowed means whenever user is going to use this material okay by mistakenly system won't allow to create a purchase order okay system will throw an error message and user okay. user won't allow so user won't allow means like uh, is not able to create a purchase order okay this is the options external purchase order means from outside vendor from vendors whatever may be the goods we are going to purchase it from the normal standard process or from the po process okay internal purchase order what is internal purchase order internal purchase order itself is called a like a stock transfer order have you have you heard about stock transfer order yeah sto's right sto's correct sto's okay yeah. so a stock transfer order process we have right okay that is called a internal purchase order only internal right it is a it is a billings belong belongs like within a company or company to company okay that i am not aware so no, i just just, just, for, the, just for the, the information i am going to tell you yes, yes. after uh, in the okay. future we have already we have a like a sto scenario so okay here. okay that i will okay. tell you okay. the, about the like a deep level thoughts about the sto and how what is the configurations required all those things and how to run the processes also hmm. that is what is what is the internal purchase order sto itself we called as a internal purchase order based on the same if you want to allow for the sto if you can make it as a two if you want to allow with a warning message you can make it as a one if you don't want to allow make it zero based on the requirement okay based on the requirement you can set it off okay okay got my point till now yes yes clear very good yeah okay so classification you just remember the classification as i told you if you want to default some value over here cross plan status item category group into the same also if you want to default the class type or class what what is classification what is class i will explain you into the separate chapter okay so 
just for the overview if you want to default the class over here or class type over here you can save it option save so save the class type and save the class over here okay means whenever we are going to create a material the class type or class will be uh, picked from over here okay as a default value if you want some default value then you can set it over here hmm. okay the price control what is price control we have a different type of price control over here one is called v and another one is called s v means as a v is equal to moving average price and s is equal to a standard price so what is v and what is a s right i'll tell you price control indicator one is v is equal to moving average price okay s equal to standard price so what is the difference between moving price and average price standard price standard standard okay stand moving average price means the price is getting fluctuated whatever it may be the goods we are purchasing from the vendors those particular price should be v right suppose i have purchased one mobile phone right the mobile phone cost is yes 10000 okay for an example 10k today's price is 10k after 2 months what will be the price definitely maybe 9k reduced yes then we reduce right for an example 9k yes this is called moving average price price is getting okay. fluctuated and what is the formula based on the standard we have a formula of moving average price total stock quantity divided by total stock value i will show you how system is calculating based this uh, moving average price uh, how when this formula will get apply okay i'll show you when we are going to run the business processes okay you okay, have to remember okay. what will be the formula whenever you will get the questions like uh, what is the formula of this price control indicator for v then you have to tell the total stock quantity by total stock value divided by okay hmm. what is the standard price okay. standard price means so finished goods material one minute ha huh? one minute yes yeah, sorry sandeep yeah okay so uh, standard price finished goods so for the standard price like standard price means what standard price means maximum number of cases we are going to maintain in finished goods for finished goods means there is nothing there is there is there are no formulas for standard price okay finished goods means what are the like uh, goods are getting produced into the company level into the plant level it may be like a long term fixed price we are long term fixed price if it the if the company is going to prove like produce uh produce the reduces the like uh, iron ore okay then whatever it may be the based on the metric ton what how much price they are not going to change immediately okay they are not going to change immediately they will change after 6 months or after 10 months or after 1 year something like that immediately they are not going to change the price right so that is the reason in that case for finished goods material we have to maintain standard price any questions sandeep till now no no got it okay okay very good yeah so let me go to the configurations okay okay double click on quantity value updating into this quantity value updating where it is actually we are into this like a uh, configuration into the left hand side we have a option called quantity value updating over here right just come down we have a quantity value updating but i will explain you over here double click on it click on position what is the valuation area means plant what is valuation area means your answer will be plant where the materials okay. are evaluated 
where the materials are evaluated it is called a valuation area so materials are evaluated into the plant level itself right into the plant levels into the plant level services are going on materials are being used have been transferred are being like purchased like purchasing from the different vendors right those are activities is going on into inside the plant level only okay, okay. so valuation area what is the plant we have created let me check it out hpl1 and hpl2 okay this quantity updating is not there value updating is not there if it is not there right whenever you are going to create some like transaction data system will throw an error okay system will throw an error if you are not updating so what does it mean actually suppose for an example our inventory inventory means storage location right okay okay we have a stock is stock quantity is zero okay we created a purchase order and made it made the goods shipped quantity is equal to 100 okay stock quantity is zero right then we made the goods shipped what happened quantity updated quantity updated okay then if it is quantity is updating right value also it will get updated according to that based on the stock report yes value also it will updated right value also it will updated for an yes. example yes. each quantity each quantity is equal to 10 rupees 10 then 100 into 10 is equal to how much 100 into 10 is 1000 this will be the total stock value yes or not yes right okay yes this is the total stock value okay so this is the for that is the reason if you want to proceed with you have to understand the requirement they need to if they if the requirement is being to that particular material is required they need to inventorize inventorize means they need to keep the material into the storage location then you have to select quantity updated quantity updating if they do not require to store in inventory okay then you have to uncheck this check box okay value okay. update should be there value update should be there if it is a value like a evaluated material value update should be there two types of material are there one is called un non evaluated un unevaluated and evaluated okay like evaluated okay. and unevaluated non evaluated okay two types of materials are there if it is a evaluated material like for, for an example where we have created one material that metal is having a price then you have to select value update if you want to keep the stock in inventory then you have to select quantity updating different type of process we have one process we have for an example yes we are going to purchase it and those particular materials suppose company assets this is the real time requirement suppose you are purchasing some like a uh, like 10 laptops and for it is specific to it department for an example i'm telling you those laptops you are not going to keep in your inventory you are simply whenever you are going the whenever you are going to receive the goods simply at that time goods is itself system will make a goods consumption to the it department okay got my point so this is called a consumption based purchase process like procure, procurement process consumable pure okay. process okay just for the theoretically i'm telling okay. you whenever we are going to run the business scenario i will let you know okay okay so what is the difference between quantity at quantity updating and value updating at the time of consumable pure process you just make it as a blank system will system won't throw an any error okay just save it out go back so this is the configuration required for a uh, uh, material type okay account category reference one is there right account category reference one chapter we have 
one chapter we have that is called automatic account determination at that time you will get to know into the deep level why we are going to use this account category reference and what is reference. the yeah uh, importance we, when we are using this account category reference just for the overall purposes i'm going to tell you right now account category reference we are using to determine the valuation classes into the material master account category reference we are using to determine the correct valuation classes into the material master that is the uh, definition which I told you right now, but at the time of different chapters at automatic account determinations, I will explain you into the deep level. Okay. 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 Just save it out. If you want to create a custom one, custom material type means like a Z material type. Just select this, click on copy. Okay. If you want to for like a Z R O H or like um, Z. Uh, okay zero material right zero raw material will be for an example we can mention the bracket for identifications uh, hp right we can identify easily you should not change this field reference and screen reference. it should be standard and if you want to select some special material types or something like that if you can you can select it out if you want to some like default values of cross plant status item category group i will show you right now after some time okay if you want to select like external person based on the con requirement if you are creating a custom material, raw material material type right whatever it may be the requirement you can change it out okay press enter click on copy save it out this is the procedure look this z draw this is the material type which we have created right now by copying from the standard itself you have to create it out directly try to go to the new entries what happened system won't allow if you want to go with the new entry system will tell and mess given message key was copy an existing material type okay regarding this material type configuration only okay. system won't allow over here new entries you have to copy it out for the other conf okay. configuration system will allow for directly new entries okay just okay. we have created one material type let me note it down what is our material type is called z draw okay okay go back okay after completion of this attributes of material type right we'll go for the define number ranges for each material type if you want to define a number ranges for each material type you can define it out right now okay how we have set a number ranges for vendor master data in the same way we can define it out okay look this this is some some little bit different procedure to set a number ranges for metal master okay click on uh, maintain groups okay then click on create for an example like hp material number ranges okay from number should be small to number should be great you have to check it out what are the number ranges are available how many number ranges they have used let me go back one minute go back go click on this interval change display intervals or change intervals whatever it may be Oh, this much of number ranges only used. We can we can set a different number ranges, right? Okay. Or else we can yes, use yes. existing number ranges as well. Let me set a different number ranges. Okay. Go back. Click on groups. Click on create. For an example, HP. Oh, sorry. HP material number ranges. Let me enter because okay. For an example, uh, seven from number should be small to number should be create right. Just enter. Press enter. Okay. System allowed. Automatically, system has been picked this number right. Four. Save it out. Okay. What is our material type? You have to find it out. Click on find. Zero. Yes. Zero. Double click on it. Look this. Zero, it has been assigned to some number ranges group. It will be go up all material types. This is the how we have created one number ranges, right? Okay, into the same way, why it has been comes under this material type number ranges? Because we have copied from ROH. And in, into the same list, ROH will be there. 
you can find it out look this roh is there right yes yes suppose you are copying from one material type to another material type and the from source material type is available from which particular number ranges the same material type will be available into the same list okay for that is the reason so let me find it out zero double click on it select the material type first then click on assign element group the number ranges group will be populated over here we can find it hp material number ranges why have maintained hp for identification easily we can identify our number range group right double click on it again find it out zero double click on it look this we can able to get to know this particular number ranges like material type is assigned to this number range group save it out so whenever we are going to create a material what is the number ranges are if it has been used over here those material number ranges will be picked it out let me show you right now okay yes go to d code mm01 let me refresh it out what is a zero zero material type okay press enter what is our company like plant uh, just for the hpl1 i'm not telling you how to create it hpl1 and storage location will be thousand just make it the default setting look this what is the number range right so yeah correct correct right okay one yes. another thing also i forgot actually i'll tell you right now uh go back we have set one configuration into the metal type itself define attributes of metal types okay, okay. go to zero okay select this click on details if you are not able to right now the checkbox is selected what happens let me yes. try to create a material with external number range functionality okay so okay. mm01 okay. for an anything i can type it or whatever it may be for an example uh, test something like or 89 text text and all we can pack hmm. anything enter system is aligned to create with this external number range functionality why the reason is this checkbox is selected okay if okay. i'm going to uncheck this box save it out hmm. okay and uh, go back to the con material master let me refresh the transaction code slash nmm01 enter this material what happened the Where external number yes okay no external number ranges assignment for possible material types raw metal hp right mm. okay yes here, here there will be no uh, like metal type will not available over here only description raw metal like this metal type description available it will be available over here okay okay so this is the uh, benefit yes. of this checkbox when we are using okay you can use if you want to, if you don't want to use that that is the requirement based on the requirement you can take some decision okay okay so let me go to t code mm01 i'll tell you something else hmm we have a option over here to create to, for metal group so metal group means what is a type of different type of groups it's going to be like a project groups electrical groups or like a, a something else like a different type of departments belongs to groups which particular groups is belong to what is the material we are creating okay so those groups okay. from where we can create it where the configurations are available we can create this metal group right <clears throat> let me go back yes. to the configuration okay so basic settings is not there uh, field uh, configuring in the metal master where it will be i know the t code but uh, to the t code is short no, it's not good actually setting for key for define metal groups right okay under this logistic general material master settings for key fields we have a option called uh, define metal group the t code is omsf okay define metal groups okay so, yeah. okay in the is a simple way to define a metal group go to new entries okay if for an example uh, this much of 10000 or something like that uh, mechanical okay 20000 is like a civil okay like a project 
whatever it may be the requirement comes you can define into the same way like a, a project civil like store or something else like project mechanical civil project and mm, service we can put service yes huh? making we, we can go for services okay yes good save it out <clears throat> saved let me go to the configure let me uh, refresh the transaction code on mm01 okay go to the drop down we can find it out based on the metal co metal group code or definitions one two three four enter uh, no, no, not this way or we can find it out based on the like so many this is demo system right so many things are available into the real time is not like that okay mechanical where is mechanical fastener oh my god no worries let me enter enter one enter any descriptions look this metal group is available right now okay so you can enter and you can search it out uh one minute look this mechanical is available right now okay yes and for an example if i'm going to enter twenty thousand civil it is okay. also there huh. whatever it may be the configurations you have done right those things it will be available okay let me enter the forty thousand also everything it will be available okay so this is the procedure to create a uh material group so whenever we are going to create a material material master right we have to enter the industry sector so these are industry sectors some people's has been already created some industry sector but maximum industry sectors are provided by sap standard itself okay so if you want to create a industry sector industry sector means what for which company they have implemented what are the companies are belongs to it may be pharmaceutical like mechanical engineering or chemical industry beverages educational service service provider whatever it may be okay so if it is from this list if it is not available if you want to create then go to t code called oms3 i know the t code but i have to find the path where it can be go to the path also we can find it out okay so industry sector industry sector find it out or else we can go with this uh, oms3 is the t code to define these all things okay okay hmm. if you want to define you can define by this copying with them or uh, retail or aerospace or service provider or whatever it may be if you want to define you can go with new entries or you can else you can copy with that let me go with uh, new entries for an example i'll create and i'll delete it right now for an example uh, whatever for like uh, anything i'll just create a test like okay for t field reference m what is field? okay why uh, r okay so industry sector reference means what this code is available or not let me save it first i'll delete it out okay look this why system is throwing an error why is available t is available already right whatever it may be the new industry sector code i'm entering over here right which is already available system will not allow any duplicate entries right so that is so the reason it will be single digit only it will be single digit only okay it will be single digit and this is the de 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 description and this is the field of reference as i told you okay. uh, already we made some changes into the field reference like uh, for a vendor master right how we can set as a reference like uh, which field should be mandatory optional or height we can to do it okay so based on that only you can select it maximum number of times if you want to go with a real time scenario right we can use only m only okay just select the line item just deleting this one because i should not disturb the standard configurations over here hmm? this is the procedure if you want to define after after defining those things it will be available in mm01 okay i have deleted then it will be not available right now so any question 
no no not at all okay very good yeah hmm. so uh let me show you how to create a metal master so number ranges is completed and uh like a basic settings we have completed the number ranges and uh, huh, i'll tell you another configurations also okay to the basic settings we have often defined output format for material numbers define output material for uh define output format of metal numbers right so what is this actually in ecc itself we have a 18 length maximum number length of the material metal metal number length is 18 but in s4 hana it is 40. material number length is called in ecc is one minute uh, is 18 okay but in s4 hana it is 40. yes so uh Chinma, if uh, yes yes tell if me. i got access to s4 hana system mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And in that also, if I will do my practice and everything, I will yes, be able it, to do it, 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 right? Yes, you can, you can do it, but uh, there is okay. little, little bit different into the like concept, like a uh, ledger accounting, some configure like concepts are there. Whenever we are going to configure the enterprise structure, uh, in between that only some like uh, extra configurations also there. Okay, that we have to clear it out. What is the metal ledger accounting? Without that metal ledger accounting, we are not able to create a single transaction data or single master data. Okay. Okay. So that, so that if I get some error, you can help me out, right? I can share I can, you the I can, I can, I can, I can. Okay. Don't worry, I can. There is a, that is a solutions also available into the Google itself. Okay. Oh, okay. I'll, okay. I'll help you out. Okay, don't worry. Okay, okay. So just for the basic informations in S4 HANA, metal number length is 40, in ECC 18, okay? So you can, you can make some adjustment over here if you want to trigger. If it is not required, then don't uh, change it out because it's a standard configurations, okay? Okay. So, I'll tell you how to create a material master right now. What is the T codes are to create a metal master? What is the T code to change it out? All those things. Let me note it down first. Okay. Create material master. MIM01. Change. MMC.2. Very good. Display. And display is MMC.3. Okay. And uh, then uh, display chain, yes. uh, display chain, then uh, block or unblock. Zero four. Block or unblock. No, no. Display MMC.3. Then uh, if you want to miss it as a deletions or like MM 6 Flag okay. for deletion, right? Mm. MM06. Okay. Then uh, list okay. of materials. Is there a standard report? Okay. MM60. Okay. Hmm. 60. If you want to extend the material, extend material master, extend views. Yes. MM50. Must. Okay, then uh, okay. for an example, extend material master is MM01 itself. Okay. Okay. Then for like okay. for if you want to extend the uh, for from one plant to another plant, you can extend the uh, views from uh, MM01. You can, in MM01 itself, you can extend it out. If you want to extend the single material views, you can use MM01 itself. If you want to uh, use uh, extend um, for multiple materials, you can use MM50 or you can use single metal also. Okay. okay then, uh, okay. then for an example, if you want to extend uh, storage location. Mm 
metal master right mmsc okay if you want to change uh, sorry change 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 material change will be ml02 only right ha uh, change time. material type for existing material is mmam okay, okay. so these all are the transactions are like master data we have to the transaction code we can execute it and we will get to know how to execute and how to enter those data required informations okay so basically when we are going to create a metal master we will enter the required information it's quite difficult to enter the all the informations into the each and each field okay whenever we will complete each by one by one chapter at that time we will enter the required fields okay so basically okay. how we create a metal ma vendor master only into the same way we are going to create a metal master so go over the t code is mm01 to create a material you have to select the industry sector you have to select the metal type if you want to select the standard metal type also it is okay if you want to create select the like a custom metal type which is uh, already you have created that one also okay after selecting this click on select views okay so basically what happened if you are, you are going to select again and again right but whenever you are going yes. to select uh, if you want to uh, like make it the default right okay then yes. after selecting this option click on default setting click on default setting means system will stick up with this con like a selection item views a again and again mm. system won't tell you ki boss select again select this like uh, information okay okay after this click on organizational level okay into the organizational level you have to and select the plant enter the plant and storage location if you want to as a okay. default value then click on default settings means okay. again and again you are not, you are not supposed to enter this thing system will pop, system will populate the default data default value of it yes okay click on okay. continue look this this is the number range of the metal master means already it has been decided ki what will be the metal number okay for an example we just we are creating bearing ball bearing or whatever it may be like a t390 model number is t390 okay what is the unit of measure unit of measure means if it is a like a grease or oil or like it's a chip sand based on the material what will be the unit of measurement it will it can be a pieces it can be each it can be liter it can be metric ton okay it can be square feet right so based on the standard unit of measurements will be available over here it can be if it is a metric ton then mt if it is a like a each it can be ea it can be piece pieces it can be pc okay you have to remember this okay. metal group what is the metal, our metal group we can use it out it may be 1000 okay. cross weight net weight means like how much weight of this material for an example 2 kg okay what will be the net weight 1.8 okay just press enter what happen oh you have to enter the unit of measurement weight unit of measurement of it press enter after pressing enter right whatever it may be the views we have selected while creation of the metal master after basic data we have selected purchasing means after pressing enter right it will jump to the purchasing tab okay okay enter the purchasing group what is the purchasing group we have created go to the purchasing group it hpg oh great go to the purchasing group find the purchasing group hpg is available or not if you want to create you can create yes it is available okay press enter plan data storage location 1 right now we are not going to enter anything but into the future chapters we have to enter so many values but why we are using this plan data storage 1 or plan data storage 2 system will create a storage location view storage location data okay for this material master while creating in mm01 if you want to extend the material master if you want to uh, create a storage location data then you have to select plan data storage 1 or plan data storage 2 okay got my point okay yes yes press enter and when it will comes to accounting one tab into the accounting one tab we have to select valuation class as i told you into the material type we are using account category reference automatically based on the standard configurations account category yes. reference 
will pick this valuation classes okay valuation yes. class i will tell you for the overall right now at the time of automatic account determination will 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 get into the deep level okay so valuation class uh it is going why we are using the valuation class in the metal master when we are going to post the material document or invoice document with the help of that the help of the valuation class system is going to determine the correct gl account gl account means general ledger account okay so that is the reason we are using valuation classes so you can change the price control indicator over here if you want to set as a s or if you want to set as a v i will tell you if you want to if you means if you do not want to make it is not changeable then that also we can do it if you want to set as a price control indicator v then moving price should be enter over here if you want to make it as a s then standard price enter should be over here okay okay so for an example okay. moving price is 1000 rupees press enter save it out so whenever we are going to save right system will create this material number this is our material code okay if you want to check this okay. metal into the metal list also which is called mm60 right yes i have discussed look this remove this metal number just enter the plant what is plant hpl1 or something like that yes hpl1 look this valuated materials only means if you want to ex get really? the list only valuated materials the system will propose the only valuated metal means which particular metal is having the price okay yes. if you want to get the non valuated metals as well including the met valuated metals the system will pick those metals also okay i'll show you don't worry look click on execute this is the standard report for the list of metals what is the metal number what is the plant what is the description what is the metal type belongs to what is the metal group all those purchasing group valuation class price which user has been created all those things we will get it over here okay so what is the procedure to change the material go to t code mm02 okay find the material based on what sequence we can find it out as i told you uh, we can go the easy options will be plant material by description we can pass the material we can pass the okay. plant okay enter then system will show us ki how many number of materials we have into our under the plant right just we have created one material for that is the reason this one metal is available select views by default system will select those views what are the views we have selected at the time of metal creation okay press enter automatically system will populate organizational level plant and storage location just verify it if it is okay then press enter if you want to change something for an example anything for an example i am going to change over here three and make it as a two okay press enter i've just changed the gross weight and net weight anything if you want to change the descriptions if you want to change the unit of measurement i'll tell you what is the difference if you want to change it but if you want to change the price system will not allow to change the price in mm02 i have to i forgot to mention one thing yes. change price okay change price mr21 okay so what is the procedure to change the price then system will not allow to change the price in mm02 uh, other things are available to modify over here but system won't allow to change it okay just save it out if you want to display the material master go to t code mm03 just display it out only for the display purposes system won't allow to change the metal master and you will get the information go to t code we were like go to the view called basic data 1 in the basic data 1 we made the changes over here like gross weight net weight right okay so got my point till now sandeep yes 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 okay. yes in ma'am okay so let me go to the t code called uh, what are the t codes are available we have noted over here my display flag for deletions go to t code mm06 okay if the if you want to set the flag for deletion as i told you master data is only available is only applicable to set as a flag for deletion right so more we are we are not able to delete permanently from the sap system itself because it's a master data 
Hmm. So you just enter the material, plant, storage location. Okay, valuation type, distribution channel, storage type. We are not using those, those these all information right now. Press enter. From which level? If you want to set as a deletion for material level, if you want to set as a plant level, if you want to set as a storage location, or including this three level, or total level. From which level? If you want to set as a flag for deletions, also you can set it out, or also you can set as a total level as well. Okay, means system won't allow to create any transaction data regarding to this material master. Okay, got my point? Yes, I'm but we will not do it, right? Because no, no. Uh, we okay. are going to use this material, right? So just for the information yes, only, yes, I have that's to right. okay, how to okay. how to use this like a, a flag for deletion functionality. List of metal master, as I told you already, MM60, right? Okay, extend views. Yes. If you want to extend views in MM50, 50 also available, or in MM01 also available. Okay, look this. If you want to pass the material plant over here, just we can HPL one, or if you want to type metal material also, you can pass it out, or metal type also you can pass it out. But which is mandatory maintenance status? Go to this drop down. Right now we have only one material, so that is the reason I'm not passing any material over here. By default system will, by default system will take one material, right? So that is the reason which particular view you want to make some changes extensions means like our material is having uh, all those informations right but which particular views you want to extend it out for an example mrp just i'm using okay click on execute look this okay based on what based on the plant and storage location level if you want to extend or based on the plant and only only plant and storage location if you want to extend or only plant level i'm going i will go i mean it's like i'm going to choose this uh plant and storage location level i'm going to extend the material select this checkbox click on maintain materials automatically system will come to mrp one tab okay so this is the procedure i'm right now i'm not going to maintain it huh this is the procedure to extend the material master for multiple metals also you can maintain it over here if i need to go with mm01 slash n mm01 look this pass the metal number over here okay press enter and uncheck all this is select all deselect all this is the option i'm going to mrp1 system will ask you plant and storage location yes enter system is allowing to extend the views itself for single material you can extend it for multiple materials or single material you can go for mm50 got my point yes yes okay okay so extend metal master mm01 also completed right now as i told you extend metal master for for an example as i told you to extend the views but i need to extend the metal master yes. from different plant level right we have a multiple plants for an for an example go to mm01 enter the metal number okay same views with the same views we can extend the metal master for another plant hpl2 Okay, what is the storage location? For an example, 4000. Yes, press enter. What is the message we are getting over here? The message is, look this, the message is the metal already exists and will be extended, right? So just yes. now we are really extending the material for HPL2 plant. Let me enter, let me create this material. No, 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 there's a purchasing group is different, right? We are using some different purchasing group. One two two zero. Okay. Look, plan okay. resolution one. It is extending for four four thousand. Let me enter the valuation class. Enter the price. Save it out. The metal has been extended for both of the plants, right? Let me go to the T code called MM sixty metal list. Just uh, enter the plant or HPL two. Both of the plant I have entered over here. This is the metal code. Or remove the metal execute. number because we have one one metal only, right? Click on execute. Yeah. Look this. The same material is available for plant one for, for plant two as well. Okay. Got my yes. point? With the same metal code. Yes. There is nothing difference. Okay, one minute. Okay.
then extend storage location suppose we have created a material this material right uh, go to decode mmsc mmse mmsc right okay this is the t code right so if you want to extend the material for multiple storage locations because while creating right system there will be there are no options to enter the multiple storage location right but you can extend the storage location for multiple uh, you can extend the material for the multiple storage location enter the material number list all existing storage locations list extendable storage location means what are the storage locations are there we can extend it to it and list all, all existing storage location means like uh, what are the storage locations is already available those storage location will be available over here only 1000 if you want to extend for an example how many storage location we have we can get it out or else we can go to the table level go to t code slash oac 16n uh, like uh, t001l right this is the storage location table we can pass a table like plant over here hpl1 and click on execute how many storage location we have three storage locations three right yes okay this three only 1000 for 1000 is already available for 2000 3000 we can extend it out for 2000 3000 it means whenever we are going to make a goods receipt right system uh, easily you can place the stock in where you want to uh, st like place the stock like in 2000 if you want to place the stock if you want to 3000 if you want to 1000 if you want to place the stock you can use this functionality for extending the storage location let me save it out okay this is the procedure okay okay hmm. a change material master metal type for existing metal master so if you want to suppose user has been created one material by by like by mistakenly he, uh, she uh, he or she can like used any like uh, incorrect material type incorrect material type okay so what happens definitely if user don't know to handle those core users don't know handle this with these issues definitely this issue will come to consultant and they will ask you to what is the procedure to change the change the material type for existing material master okay then you can suggest with mmam but there will be some prerequisites are there okay if this material whatever it may be okay. the material has been created those materials already used for the purchasing document and some other documents then system won't allow to change the material type for existing material masters okay if it is okay. totally fresh if it is totally fresh and that material it has it is not used some different like a transaction data then system will allow it let me show you right now okay, okay. what is the t code to change the material type t code mmam mmam so the material is this one what is the new material type for an example we will jump to roh okay look this what is the oldest material okay click on execute then you can system will change the material type right now i'm going, not going to change it because we are as per the scene like a uh, just for the we already we created the zero right we are going to use this one only okay so if you want to click on execute okay. then system will if look this you are changing the material type system is giving a message i'm not going to change it out yes okay. yes tell me what happened okay okay, okay. so warning message right uh, warning message means this system yeah. is giving a warning information to you okay you just means if you if you don't know anything so for an example okay. hit and for a hit and trial basis you're try, trying to replicate the transaction code to use execute the transaction code system is giving yes, a message yes. because warning message only you are changing the metal type from raw metal hp to raw material okay roh which is okay. called roh right okay i'm not going to change it right now then what is the procedure to check the material type for existing metal master suppose we'll whenever we are going to create a material right system is giving a message to choose the material type in this way we can identify it easily right but after creation of the metal master there are no options to check the metal type only display you are just entering the metal number over here right just get inside we'll have an option called information on material uh, beside of this description option right 
is have we will have a option called information on material here also there will be material type will be not available it is only the description of the metal type right click on information on material you will get the material type details what is the material type what is the industry sector all those things when it has been created when it has been changed all those in information you will get it from over here okay got my point yes okay and uh, last transaction code is mr21 if you want to change the change. material price okay if you want to change the material price what is the t code go to t code mr21 what happened i'll show you and uh, like how we extend for storage location Ch chinmaya like ca can't we extend for plant also there is any t code already already, already, uh, already we have a use right mm01 no no there okay. is nothing called the transaction code uh, means like in mm01 no, you can extend sorry. for the new plant level okay no like storage location we have separate right no, mm60 no, something mm mmsc mmsc is, MMSC a t -code. is there yes 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 already i showed you right MMSC is a T code we can use to extend the storage location level, multiple storage location level into the single plan. Okay. As I show you, I think you remember, I think you forgot maybe. Let me show you again. No, no, no. I remember the same. I just want to see like if we have for plant or not. That's what our, my no, question have was. The, uh, MM01 itself, you can use it out. Okay. 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 Fine. Yes. Okay. Okay, so this is the story location. What where we are, where we are actually change the price, right? If you want to change the price, right? Come to T code MR21. Enter the company code, which is called HP. I think. Let me check the organizational data. Company code is SP00. Sorry. And this is a plant press center. Allowed posting period. Five to five fifteen. Four to fifteen. Okay. Let me show period the, is not open i think so. uh, maybe let me check it out i think there's an mmrv what is the posting period oh my god okay posting period is not changed i'll change it out and uh, we'll connect yes. uh, tomorrow hmm? okay 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 then chalo bye take care yeah. good night huh? okay thanks thanks good night bye.